What's going on YouTube? Links Forte here. Uh, I just want to warn you ahead. This video has a lot of spoilers. It's about the starters. If you do not read the title, um, this, so if you do not want to be spoiled, click off of this video right now. You have been warned. You have three seconds. All right. So let's talk about the starters. Uh, yesterday, someone attained the game, the Pokemon Sun and Moon game and they've been leaking images on 4chan and it's been spread around basically. Um, another YouTuber by the name of Philly Beats You, his link to his channel will be in the description. He's been talking about it on his channel. Um, he's been tweeting out about it, which is where I got the stats. So I'll link that tweet as well. And when the leaks first came out, the first Pokemon to be leaked to us was Rowlet and its information and the biggest thing about Rowlet was everybody was saying oh my gosh it's so slow well I'm gonna tell you right now if I'm not mistaken Rowlet is the fastest out of the three starters yeah Rowlet is the fastest out of the three starters and it's kind of been mind-blowing to everybody but when I was looking at the original pictures I kind of noticed like as the person was evolving evolving Rowlet <clears throat> um, Rowlet was looking like a mostly a mixed attacker but you're probably going to end up using it as a physical attacker and I'll do another video about that later but you're probably going to um, it's, it's a mixed attacker based on its stats and it has some bulk to it so you guys can see the picture here or Desidui, I've been saying Rowlet the whole time but Desidui, here's the picture of Desidui, its stats and you can see its hidden ability as well um, what it looks like here is, I haven't had a full chance to analyze this, but you can see his stats, 78 HP, 107 attack, 75 defense, 100 special attack and spadef, and 70 speed. This is the thing that everybody was uh, going crazy over because it was so slow. Um, when Rowlet was released, released its, its uh, base or its speed at level 5 was 9. It's, it was like it was blowing people's mind that it was so slow. I think when it evolved at level 17, it was like at 43, and people just could not believe like something that looked so fast and whose description basically hinted at it would be fast. I think it actually said it would be fast, but either way, it was just so fast. It was saying fast, but this thing is so slow. Um, we see here it has a new ability or hidden ability anyway, long reach. The Pokemon uses its moves without making contact with the target. That's big. For a Pokemon we're assuming is going to be a physical attacker or primarily physical attacker so um, it has access to moves like um, or I saw this yesterday in part of League. It gets sucker punched by level up which is huge because this thing is so slow. Um, that new move, I cannot think of the name of the move right now. Uh, Spirit Shackle. That's a physical attack, but it, I don't think you really make contact. So maybe, maybe its ability can be helpful or it won't be helpful. We don't really know yet. I don't really know all the moves in its level up pool set. I don't even know if I said that right. It's early, man. I just woke up. <laughs> Next up, we have Incineroar. Uh, 95 HP, 115 attack, 90 defense, uh, 80 special attack, 90 uh, spadef, and 60 speed. Again, another starter, slow Pokemon, but this one, I think you can make the case that you can run Incineroar kind of bulky. Uh, it, it just kind of depends how you want to play. Like I said, it's, its defenses are 95, 90, and 90. I think you can run it kind of bulky either side, but with water being what it is, you'll probably end up running it more physically defensive, or at the very least, you know... It's going to be like um, max HP, max attack to get the most out of this thing because you're not going to want to run speed on this thing. So uh, it could be, it could end up being like Embor where you could end up running like a choice band on it. I think Embor even runs choice scarf sometimes. So let's see. Uh, it has Intimidate for its hidden ability, which probably isn't. The, it's not the worst thing for this thing. I was hoping it would get something like No Guard, but again, it's not the worst. Um, that's another thing why you could probably run this thing like physically bulky or something like that or just bulky period and I spent a lot of time on on um, 
Destiny Do I. <laughs> I guess I did throw. I spent a lot of time on Destiny Do I, but that's because I, there was a lot of information that came out on it yesterday. I just woke up and these I saw these, these have been released overnight. And last but not least, Prima Arena, uh, HP 80, Attack 74, Defense 74, Special Attack 126, but Def 116, and Speed 60. Now, as for Prima Arena, I have mixed feelings about this. Its HP is 80, which is really good, or it's decent anyway, but its spadef is off the charts. But with water being the type it is, and electric being its biggest weakness, I don't know. How, it, it's the it's the Milotic case. All those Milotic is closer in its two defenses. Um, you run Milotic primarily physically defensive although its special defense is a little bit higher. So this is what we get with Free Marina. Um, obviously its special attack is off the charts and thank you for that game freak. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, I, I have to do a little bit more analyzing and try to figure out what would be good for these sets. The other thing is I've been saying that it needs Pixelate to be a good Pokemon. I don't know if that's necessarily true now that it has a new ability called Liquid Voice, which all sound-based moves become water-type moves. So if it gets Hyper Voice, you've just given basically Pixelate, or yeah, Pixelate, a water type, become a water-type move instead of a fairy-type move, which is not the worst thing in the world. It's Water is still a good typing, and I, I, just, I just can't think off the top of my head of um, you know, Pokemon that may be going behind a sub that would be extremely hindered by this. Like some of the Pokemon I could think off top, well, the number one Pokemon I could think off top is um, Whimsicott, because that thing just subs and stalls you out or whatever. That's not taking a, a really super, it's not taking a, a super effective hit. So it's gonna stay there behind the sub all it wants. Primarina is gonna be forced out. Anyway. Um, here are the stats. Like I said, it's linked to to Philly Beachu's Twitter in the description as to uh, when he tweeted it out. Anyway, this is Link's Forte. I'm out. See you guys in uh, another video soon. Peace.